Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have two things. First of all, the second gift guide, which is going to potentially be the longest gift guide you have ever seen. And the second thing is that the sound may sound different to you because I have just bought a new mic. I wasn't filming with like an external mic or anything like that beforehand, so hopefully the videos sound a bit better and hopefully you can't hear my crazy neighbours. Update, we are actually viewing a few houses on Monday, so hopefully we won't actually have any more crazy neighbours because we're trying to get something literally in the middle of nowhere so that there is absolutely no one around, so yes. So like I said, this is the second instalment of my Christmas gift guides. The first one, which I will link down below, is all about the kind of techie side of things and you've got fashion and it was basically just anything that didn't have its own category. I sort of lumped it all in that video, so be sure to check out that one. But as for today's video, this gift guide is going to be all about the beauty side of things. So we've got hair, we've got body, we've got makeup, we've got perfume. It covers all bases. It has prices from around 15 to 100 pounds, I think. So hopefully something for everyone. But if you are trying to come up with ideas for or some of your loved ones or even yourself then please do carry on watching so the first thing in no particular order is the Soap and Glory gift set. We all know that Soap and Glory do the best Christmas sets and this one is called Once Upon a Lime and it's £10. And what it comes with is the Sugar Crush Body Butter Cream, the Sugar Crush Hand Food, Sugar Crush, Sugar Crush Body Wash and the Body Scrub to go with it. And I will just get it out. I think it comes with a poof as well. I'm going to be giving this to someone for Christmas but um, I'm sure they won't mind if I open it. So inside it looks like this and... It smells so good. I really, really love the Sugar Crush scent. I think it was like the first Soap and Glory product I ever tried. I think I was like 13 or something and I went into Boots and I just saw this new brand that I'd never seen before and I picked up the scrub and I was just obsessed. I don't know why I'm just holding this poop here. But um, yeah, it comes with some little minis but this does go a really, really long way. And again, like I said, for like £10 you really can't go wrong and obviously Soap, Soap and Glory, Soap and Glory is available in Boots and they're always doing 3 for 2 offers and things like that. So you can normally get them for a lot cheaper. Now I better put the lid back on before I end up wanting to keep this on myself. Next we have another Christmas classic and that is from Lush. This one in particular is the Comfort and Joy and the tag's actually coming off. I think I might keep this one for myself just because, you know, YOLO and all that. But inside this one you have the Comforter Shower Cream which means I'm definitely going to be keeping that one myself because I bloody love the Comforter. Um, the Reindeer Rock Soap, the Twilight Shower Gel and the Rose Argan Body Conditioner. So I really love the Rose Argan Body Conditioner. I actually just bought it for one of my best friends um, for her birthday and she really loved it. The Reindeer Rock Soap, again, very apt for Christmas and I think the Comforter Shower Gel is maybe limited edition for Christmas, don't quote me on it. And then the Twilight Shower Gel, I have no idea what that is, but it says Multi Lavender Showers, and that sounds pretty good to me. Um, but yeah, again, I can't remember how much this one is in particular, but I'm sure it's not like crazy expensive. You know, you can normally get varying sizes from Lush, but I think it looks very, very pretty. And that reminds me because I've also got one behind me. So this next set is something that, as you can see, Michael has had a good go at. I might just pop this in like my mum's stocking or something. She won't mind that Michael has been attacking the ribbon. But this is the Merry and Bright um, gift set and it includes the beautiful shower gel, which smells of decadent myrrh apparently, the Rub 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 body scrub and the Celebrate body lotion. Again, really nice gift set. I'm thinking this one will be cheaper just because it is like, it has a less product in it. Um, but I just think these are really, really nice things to just give to people. Maybe if you've got like a works do or something, you don't really know what to buy someone. Obviously Lush are all like cruelty free and everything like that. You kind of can't really go wrong. So these sort of things, obviously they do also look very, very pretty under the tree. My favorite is the copper one because obvious copper reasons. Who doesn't love copper at the moment? And yeah, I just think, like I said, Lush is just a really, really good brand to go for. And I'd better put this back before it ruins my backdrop. I hope that's where it was. So next up is another Soap and Glory product. This one is obviously again going to be in the 3 for 2. I cannot remember how much this one was, but I will link all of the prices and links down below for you guys. Uh, this one in particular is called the Glossic Girl Cracker, I think, and it includes five of the Soap and Glory Sexy Mother Pucker Glosses, which I personally love. They're the glosses that make your lips look ever so slightly more plump. They taste really, really good, and they're just a really, really nice consistency. They're the slightly smaller sizes, but like really, really usable. They're not like the tiny little things that go in a few days. They do have like a lot of use in them, and they're just generally colours that everyone would love, really. So you've got a lot of nudes, you've got like a slightly 
deeper, almost like mauve pink. You've got a light pink as well. And I just think the crackers in general, I really, really like it when brands come out with crackers every Christmas because they're something that you can put in a stocking depending on how much you want to spend on someone, but they also make like a really nice gift. Or you could even, if you fancy, if you're making like a beauty box or something like that for all of your friends, you could open this up and just pop a little um, lip gloss in all of their boxes. So I think these are a really, really good idea. And again, three for two of boots. So next up I have a fragrance and I know what you're probably thinking, buying someone a fragrance for Christmas is a bit of a risky job unless you know them really, really well. But this fragrance in particular, it's the Eccentric Molecule 01, I've been trying to say that for so long. Um, it basically smells different on every single person and I've tried it and it 100% works. So Ollie tried it and it kind of smelled a bit like, kind of like a really, really light zesty scent but on me it's really, really musky and I just really, really love it. It's a scent that I've never really smelt before, it doesn't smell like any of your... I don't know, like fruity or trying to think of another word for a fragrance, like fu like fruity and oriental and floral and things like that. It basically just smells different and I think this would make a really good gift purely because obviously it does smell different on every single person and they are quite affordable as well. you think if it was like a kind of like a customised perfume it would be quite expensive but I think these are around the £30 mark and you really don't need a lot. I find one spray on your wrist and then one spray on your neck and then just like tap it onto the rest of your skin. It just lasts for a really long time as well. You probably only need to top up like once a day or something. Next up we have, next we have a gift set from someone you might recognise. Miss Estée Lalonde. Uh, she came out with a gift set from The Body Shop. I don't want to blind you guys with all of this, so I'm just going to open it. But it's a nail art kit from The Body Shop. I don't know why I'm talking like a robot. But inside you get three different nail polishes. This one actually, no, I was going to say this looks quite similar to what I've got on my nails, but this is a lot more berry toned. But you've got the berry nail polish, which is called um, Deeply In Love. Then you've got like a bluey, purpley, I don't really know what colour this is, but it's very, very nice. have got the blues, and then you've got this really amazing colour, which I'm going to be painting my nails next. And this one is called Gorgeous Grey, and it also comes with... I'm going to take this out because it's like falling down the back. But it also comes with a dotting tool, so you can do loads of different nail designs and things like that. And I don't think it's just with this, but I know that The Body Shop are doing some sort of charity situation where if you buy one of their products, then they give to WaterAid, I think it is. Now obviously I've got a lot of love for Estee, that girl just makes me like, whew, a bit hot under the collar. But I do genuinely think that these colours are really amazing. I really love this one and I do really like this one as well, but I feel like I'm going to go for something a bit more neutral for Christmas time because I don't want to have red because I'm not really a red person and I don't know. But I personally really love these two colours. I do think this would look really, really nice in the winter as well. Um, and obviously the dotting tool means that you can go crazy and add polka dots to your nails as well if you so desire. Um, I think this kit is £20, I think. Or it's 15 I don't know. We'll link it down below. I'm getting so annoyed with all these like shiny packages because they look really, really pretty to me, but they're probably blinding you on camera. So sorry if I've blinded you, but um, please carry on semi-watching. Um, but this is the James Reed Tan Edit for the face, and it comes with three 25ml bottles. You have the Sleep Mask Tan Face, which tans your face as you sleep, which is like the best thing ever for me. Then you've got the Day Tan SPF 15 for your face, and then you've got the Tan Perfecting Enzyme Peel Mask. So I'm guessing that one just like takes everything off. To be honest, it probably says it on the back. Hydrating, exfoliating, and fast acting. So yeah, basically you've got the overnight tanner, the daytime tanner, and then the thing that takes off all the tanner. I feel like this would make a really good gift for someone if you know they like to fake tan but you don't really know what their favourite fake tan is or if you know they've got way too much fake tan in their life. I only have to fake tan my body like once a week or something but for my face I could easily do it like once every day or once every two days just because you have to like cleanse your face. Not that I don't cleanse my body but I find that cleansing my face is a bit more intensive. Um, so something like this I really, really love just because it's nice and it's handy and you don't really need big bottles. When I say it's three like 25ml bottles it may sound like a small amount but if you're gonna be using it on your face you don't really need like 500 ml bottles of like facial tanner um, and yeah I just think it would make a really, really good gift if you know someone that likes fake tan or if you know someone that likes to travel because it's got little airplanes on it so I'm guessing that would mean it's good for airplanes or something that could actually be a good idea you could tan your face while you're on an airplane using the night sleep mask whatever it's called but um yeah, I think it's a really nice little gift for tanning people in your life and I think this costs around £30. 
Next we have a gift set from Bedhead. I bloody love Bedhead products. I've raved on and on about them enough. In fact, I've raved on and on about this dry shampoo enough as it is. It smells like creme brulee, I think it's meant to smell like, and it's just, just amazing. And this is the Rise and Shine Morning After Texture and Lift gift set. Um, I think you can get this quite affordably, that's not a word, but I will link it down below because I know you can get it quite cheap in a certain place, but I can't remember where it is off the top of my head. But it includes a Obi Hive matte dry shampoo, which is one of my personal favourites, and then you've got the Head Rush Shine Spray. Now the matte dry shampoo, I'm trying to keep it this side just so I don't blind you guys, but the matte dry shampoo is this one here, and it smells so, so good, and it, it really is matte, so you're not going to get any of like the white residue or anything like that. And I just find that it gives your hair like a bit of oomph without making it feel really dry and tacky and things like that. And then, I've never used a shine spray, but I imagine it's pretty damn good because generally bedhead products are pretty damn good. And I just think this sort of set as well, if you know someone that likes their hair care, um, and if you don't really know what sort of hair they have, generally most people like shiny hair and they normally need like a dry shampoo or something like that. I just think this is a really nice festive gift set. Okay, so next up is yet another shiny box. This is just going to drive me insane. And this is the Tresemme 7 Day Smooth Keratin Smooth Gift Set. Let me, it says lift the flap to reveal. I could say like an innuendo there, but I won't. But inside you get a little mini brush, you get the Keratin Smooth 7 Day System, 7 Day Smooth System Shampoo, the conditioner to go with it, and then the heat activated treatment. So I'm guessing this would just be really, really great for someone if you know that they like to get their hair done a lot and they just like that sort of blow dried, sleek effect. And this is just a general set that would just kind of do it all for them. So they would actually save a lot of money instead of going to the salon and getting it done like every week or something. But yeah, I think this is like a really nice set. Again, it's not going to be too expensive because it's Tresemme. I will link the exact price down below. Um, but I just think it's a really nice set for someone that wants to take care of their hair, doesn't really do anything overly crazy with their hair. And yeah, I just think obviously if someone likes the products as well, then Tresemme is quite affordable. So it's not going to break their bank if they suddenly get addicted to like the shampoo or something, then they can still go and buy it without thinking, Jesus Christ, that is expensive. So just a really nice gift set that someone can open on a Christmas morning. Next up I have the Tierra Mugler yeah, Angels Miniatures Collection. This set includes three 5ml eau de parfum of the Angel scent and then you've got one eau de toilette as well. My nan absolutely loves the Angel perfume. I get her a bottle like every single year and I'm going to be giving her this for Christmas. Sorry nan if you are watching but I don't think she watches my videos so I think we're pretty safe there. But yeah, like I said, it comes with four mini fragrances and my nan does have like, she probably has a ton of bottles of Angel just lying around her house. So something like this is really great, I think, if you do know someone that loves the scent because they can just get these little tiny bottles and pop them in their handbag or something like that. I think these would make like a really nice stocking filler as well just because obviously you've got four things in there. If you have four friends, if you know they like the perfume as well, you can just pop a little bottle into all of their little stockings. And yeah, I just think it would make like a really nice sweet thing to open on Christmas morning. Next up is yet another hair care gift set. I promise this wasn't planned. I seem to be just picking up loads and loads of hair care gift sets. But this is the Tony and Guy Sophia Webster Limited Edition. Tony, what am I saying here? The Tony and Guy Limited Edition Sophia Webster Hair Care Gift Set. Nailed it. This includes the shampoo for fine hair, the conditioner for fine hair, the firm hold hairspray, and then the volume boost with a spritz of shine, so it's a 3D volumizer. And I think sets like this are absolutely perfect if you don't know what to buy someone. We all have that person in our lives that kind of has everything or they're really, really difficult to buy for or anything like that. And I find that something like this is just a really substantial gift set. It's useful because chances are the people in your life mostly use everything in the gift set. Obviously Tony and Guy are an amazing brand. The set is limited edition with Sophia Webster and I don't know, it's just something that's nice to open on the day. It's useful and I just think that pretty much everyone is going to like something like this. So I think if you are kind of stuck for ideas, whether it's for like a colleague, a girlfriend, a best friend, anything like that, something along the lines of this will just go down a treat. I really don't know if this is even going to fit into the shot, so sorry about that, I will be doing a cutaway though. But this is the L'Oreal Steam Pod 2.0 and I'll see if I can open it without making loads of rackets. So this is what it looks like inside, I have already used it so excuse any like hairs maybe attached to it. But basically you have your little pod just down here, let me use my chin as the pointer. And it's basically a straightener that straightens your hair using steam, it's kind of like all the rage at the moment. 
Um, I think L'Oreal are the only people that have come out with something like this and I think they're going to be something that gets picked up a lot over the next few years. Obviously it is a hair tool so it's going to be quite pricey. I think this is maybe around the £150 mark but don't quote me on it. But these work so so well. I'm doing like a review video of this just so you guys can actually see it in action. But I've used it before. I haven't used it today just as you can probably tell because my hair is probably like all over the place. I think this would make a really good gift idea for someone that you know is maybe a bit too addicted to straightening their hair obviously this does straighten your hair but it uses steam so it's not going to be as damaging and I just think this would make a really, really nice present obviously it's going to be like quite a bulky present so it probably should be like a main present for someone or something um, they also do come with like you can also buy the hair care products as well to go actually with the steam pod so maybe you could pick up a few of them if you really want to treat someone um, but yeah like I said I will do a proper review on this but take my word for it I absolutely love this it's amazing Next we have this gift set from Molten Brown and I'm not going to open this purely because it is going to someone special this Christmas but inside you have I believe it's six body wash and six body lotions they have scents like orange and bergamot, ginger lily, pink pepper pods, temple tree, I have no idea what a temple tree is, um, ylang ylang and black peppercorn and I think this set would just be really nice for like a mum or a nan or an auntie or someone maybe a little bit older because it's a really luxury gift set and I find that generally speaking mums and nans they need to pamper themselves a bit more and I think something like this is just a really nice gift obviously Molten Brown is very high end and very luxurious so if someone opens this on Christmas day I think they would be very very happy and the packaging is like absolutely amazing you probably don't even need to wrap this up yourself you could just slip it under the tree or just give it to someone for Christmas Whilst on the topic of like baths and bathing and shower and things like that, I also have this gift set from Dr. Hauschka and it's called the Gift of Blissful Bathing. Let me just open it up, put the lid down there. And inside you get three different products. They're all full size, they're 100 mil each. And you get the Almond Soothing Bath Essence, which smells bloody amazing. You've got the More Lavender Calming Bath, bath Essence, which again, bloody amazing. And then you've got the Rosen Bar, which I haven't actually smelled. Maybe I'll give that one a sniff. So all the bottles generally look a little something like this. I don't even know what a rose and bard is. Rose nurturing bath essence. Nurturing, nurturing. Mmm, smells like roses. You know what? Smells bloody brilliant as well. So the general consensus for this gift set is that it smells pretty damn great. Um, but again, like I said, with all the other things that seem to come in little boxes, you could easily split this up and give these different sort of bath essences to different friends or members of family or you could just like pop them into little gift sets like little stockings and things like that so you could again split it up and save yourself a bit of money but I think again these are really nice sort of luxurious bath products that would just suit pretty much anyone I mean I was going to say that it would be great for someone older but I know that we all love a good bath and I bloody love all these smells. I don't know how many times I've said bloody love it and things like that in this video, but that's like the general theme of this. I do like a lot of the things that I am featuring in this gift guide because, oddly enough, they are things that I like and that's why I'm featuring in this gift guide. Oh my god, this box smells so, so good. This is a Rituals gift set. I don't know if you actually can buy this gift set, but obviously you can make one up yourself by just buying all the various products. But this is from Rituals and they're doing like a campaign for bloggers at the moment where basically they give a blogger like one box and another box to pass on to someone else. So that is what I will be doing for you guys. Um, if you saw my last video you'll know that I'm doing 12 Days of Christmas which is basically me giving away 12 different things from the 1st of December up until the 12th. And these, this is one of the things that I'm going to be giving away. I really need to like not film on an empty stomach because I kind of get all jittery and like start going crazy. So this is everything that you get inside the box. It's all in the Oriental Night scent, which smells so, so good. If you couldn't really tell by the fact that I keep like putting my nose to the box. But one of the things you get in there is a chamomile and lavender blossom limited edition Oriental Night Good Night Herbal Tea. Longest name ever, but who doesn't love a good cup of tea? You also get a candle, which smells of myrrh and cardamom. See if I can open this bad boy up. Oh, it's coming. Mmm, that smells good. I'm dropping everything. So this is what the candle looks like, really nice and simple, and it's quite a unisex scent. Oh, actually, it says something on the, not the bottle, on the candle, pot, whatever, this thing. And it says, accept what it is, let go of what was, and have faith in what will be. True words have never been spoken. A nicer smell has never been smelt. 
You also get a shimmering body cream in the creamy cacao and almond scent. What do you smell like? I don't know. This is when I struggle because of my stupid nails. Oh. Mmm. Oh, it smells like some sort of cake. Mama like. You also get a shower foam. I've heard loads about the Ritual shower foam, but I've never actually used them. I think there's one called like Yogi Flow or something. And I've always liked the idea of a shower foam. I'm a big kid when it comes to stuff like that. Do you guys remember there was like a kiddie one that you could buy? And I think it was like two quid or something and you would literally just spray it and you could like make beards and things like that. Well, that's what I feel like I would like to do with this. Um, but maybe you could find a better use for it. Like maybe you could actually use it as a shower foam as opposed to like a fake Santa's beard or something. I do actually have a fake Santa's beard here. Maybe I'll save that for the stocking filler. Next you get the Christmas tree perfume tassels. These are basically just little tiny tassels that smell so damn good and they come with a perfume oil as well, which you could probably use on like various other things around your home as well. So your house would literally smell just like myrrh and cardamom and it would be just amazing. But I think these are such obviously a cute idea for Christmas because they are in fact Christmas decorations and again, the smell. Cannot get over it. So last but not least, I need to speed up everything a little bit because my camera is going to die but I have four palettes that I'm going to share with you guys. The first one is this Givenchy palette which is, I think it's like a travel exclusive and inside, again I won't open it because I am actually giving this away to one of you guys, it includes a powder I believe, a powder, four eyeshadows and then you've got two different lip colours, really luxurious, really nice and just like a nice little sort of taster of the brand. Again, we'll link that one down below and stay tuned because you will be able to win this at some point in probably the next 10 days or so. I feel like palettes are just an amazing present for Christmas if you know someone loves makeup because you really cannot go wrong with palettes since they give you so many different options of colours. This one is from Clarins and it's their The Essentials palette. So it looks like this, I haven't even opened this one yet, I've only looked at the outside but I've had so many of the Clarence palettes, palettes beforehand and obviously the quality is absolutely amazing and I might actually keep this myself judging by the look of the colours because this is so nice, this is so nice, this is so nice, all the matte colours, it comes with like a mixture of shimmery and matte colours and they're all generally pretty neutral, I mean you've got like a purple here and you've got like a pink there but otherwise these are all quite neutral colours and obviously you've got like a few glittery bits in there as well which this one would actually make like a really nice inner inner eye corner highlight jobby um, and you do get a really nice quality brush as well like I said I've had these palettes beforehand and they're always really, really nice and yeah I think Clarins are just an amazing brand in general so I thought I would include that as well because it's kind of like a really good palette for someone that doesn't go crazy in terms of eye makeup but does appreciate a good smoky eye or something. My stomach just rumbled, hope you can't hear that. So next up I have a palette from Urban Decay in collaboration with Gwen Stefani and to be honest when I first received this I wasn't overly excited by it just because on the pictures all it really showed or all I was really drawn to were like these colours and obviously you've got like a bright pink and a bright blue and a gold and I wasn't really into that but then I opened it up and there are actually so many colours in here that I would really really use and that's coming from me and all I ever seem to use on my eyes is like brown and like just brown but um, I think for someone that really likes to experiment with makeup but also kind of likes the more natural look generally I feel like this set would be so so amazing obviously the pigmentation and everything like that, the quality is so so good when it comes to Urban Decay. If you know someone that is a big fan of Gwen Stefani then this is obviously a great palette to go for and I just think that this sort of palette is just kind of, it does everything you sort of need like you've probably even got eyebrow colours in there and you could probably even contour like areas of your face as well with this sort of palette and you've got some shimmery colours, you've got a black which I find is really useful in a palette just because you can use that as like a smoky outy thing or a liner or something like that but yeah, I just think this palette is very, very nice and I'm very, very sorry, palette, for not appreciating you to your full beauty originally. Next up is something that some of you guys will recognise if you saw my, I think it was like my first Vlogtober vlog, and it's the Smashbox Shape Matters palette. I picked this up for like, it was so cheap when I got it, it was like £25 because I had Ollie's discount card for boots and then it also had like a percentage off and then another percentage off. So I got it for really, really cheap. I think you can normally get it for like £60 or something. But inside, there is a brush, but I'm guessing that is falling on the floor. Yeah, it's right here. 
But inside you get a really big mirror which is like the entire lid, I won't show you because it will probably blind you. But you also get this brush which has a, it's just a standard shadow brush and then a brow brush on the end. And I can actually use this as a pointer now. So you get a, you get two brow colours and you get a brow wax. You get two contour like colours and then you get two highlights. So you've got one matte highlight and you've got one shimmer. And then you also get nine different eyeshadow colours that are some are matte, some are shimmery. And then you get a black in there as well. And hopefully I think you can still get it for like a decent price. I don't know if you can get it for the £25 that I got it for, but I think you can find it like on offer and things like that. Um, so I will try and link that down below. But I... Michael's like causing havoc down here. But if I can find it, then obviously I will link it down below. But I just find that something like this is really good for someone that loves makeup, but kind of like me, likes a more natural look. Although right now my lipstick definitely isn't natural. Um, and if they are just wanting to kind of get involved in contouring and things like that, then this is a really great place to start. But yeah, do let me know if you want like a proper like first impressions review or something like that on this, because I will get one up for that ASAP. So I thought that Smashbox palette was the last thing, but this was like hiding in the corner of my room. And it is the Zoeva Rose Gold and Luxury Set Volume 2 8 Brushes and Clutch Gift Set. That is a very, very long sentence. But basically, I'm not going to be opening this either because I know you guys love the rose gold brushes that I use so, so much. So I managed to wangle it with Zoeva that they have sent me over an extra set to give to one of you guys during my 12 days of Christmas giveaways. Okay, so I may have just opened it, but just to show you guys. Inside you get this style of brush. These are some of my personal favourite because they look really, really nice in Instagram shots. That might be the lamest thing that I've ever said, but YOLO. Um, and you get the Luxe Face Paint, the Buffer, which is my personal favourite foundation brush. Luxe Cheek Finish, again another favourite. The Luxe Crease, another favourite. You get the Smudger, the Wing Liner, and I think that's like a brow brush or something. So you get eight different brushes. Oh, and there's one behind as well that I cannot find the name of. But eight different brushes, kind of like all you'd really need. And then you also get a clutch inside that looks like this that I actually use to store pretty much all of like my everyday makeup. They're really, really good quality and they look really nice as well. Again, perfect for Instagram. Again, I know so many beauty lovers in my life that would absolutely love the Rose Golden set. Zoeva brushes are amazing quality if you haven't already heard me bang on about them long enough. But the rose gold sets are just absolutely stunning and they're nothing like I've ever seen before in terms of brushes. And obviously you get the clutch as well, which is always really, really handy. So I finally made it to the end of the video after two of my memory cards dying and three of my batteries dying. But we've made it. We're here. Give this video a thumbs up if you did manage to make it to the end. Like I said, this video was going to be a really, really long one. So thank you very much if you did manage to make it the whole way through. Let me know what's on your Christmas, Christmas wish list. Christmas wish list and maybe I'll go and check out a few of those bits and bobs as well. Stay tuned for the stocking filler gift guide which will be up in a few days and be sure to check out the other gift guide that didn't really have a name that I posted a few days ago and of course be sure to check out my blog where I'm going to be giving away 12 different things over the next 12 days. So that's it from me for this very very long video. Please give this video a thumbs up if you did like it and if you did manage to make your way through the entire thing. Do subscribe if you do want to see more of me. I will be posting my stocking filler gift guide any day now so stay tuned for that. But other than that I think that's pretty much it so I will see you in the next one and I hope you all have a really good day. Bye guys! Bye.